In this guide, I'm going to share with you all how to install Battle.net on your Steam Deck as quickly as possible. From desktop mode, come over to your web browser, and we want to access the main Battle.net page linked in the description. Simply click on Download Battle.net and download this to your Downloads folder. We want to access our Downloads folder, and we want to right click on the Battle.net setup.exe we've just downloaded, and click Add to Steam. Access our Steam library, and using the search bar in Steam, we want to use Steam and X to bring up our Steam keyboard and search for Battle.net Setup. Once located, click the cog symbol, Properties, go over to Compatibility, and we want to assign Proton Experimental. Close the window and press Play. Now when the setup launches, we want to leave it just like that and come back to our Downloads folder. From here, we want to go Home, and we want to click the three lines up here and click show hidden files and if your layout isn't like mine choose this icon here next we want to go to the following folder dot steam steam and scroll down to steam apps and go inside this folder here compact data press modified twice and you'll see this folder here just now has been created and this is your Battle.net folder. So we're going to go in here, PFX, Drive C, we're going to go into Program Files x86. Now go back to the Battle.net setup, choose your language, and press Continue. And from here, press Continue, and the installation will start. And you'll see that behind the window, a Battle.net folder has just been created. So go inside this, and you'll see the login screen just simply close. Now what we're going to see is battle.net.exe and battle.netlauncher.exe. What we want to do is right click on battle.net.exe and add to Steam. Now if we go back to Steam and we still have battle.net in our search bar just click on battle.net.exe, click on the cog symbol, properties, compatibility and we want to assign Proton Experimental. But from here, we want to go back to gaming mode. We want to press the Steam button, go to our library, and come over to non-Steam. Here, we're going to see our battle.net.exe. Click on this and press play. When Battle.net loads, we will need to log in via the login screen. So, if your trackpad isn't working, hold down Steam to activate this again. We want to hold Steam and press X to enter our email and password. Make sure to select Keep Me Logged In and then go ahead and log in. And once Battle.net loads, simply go ahead and install your favourite game. So in this case I'm going to install Diablo 4. I'll go on Install and it shows the program files x86, that's where it's going to install. Now if I want to install Diablo 4 to my micro SD card, I just simply hold down the trackpad and go over to Change Folder. Close the keyboard, we want to click on this forward slash. Go to Run, go to Media, go to your SD card, which in my case is SD256, and provided you've created a folder such as Diablo 4 or anything else generic, I'm just going to go in this SD card folder, click Open, and we can see SD card Diablo 4 so it will create a Diablo 4 folder for us. It will say insufficient disk space and that's, this is just for an example so I'll just go continue, take off the high resolution assets 71 gig and I can go ahead and press start install. If this guide helped you learn something new today please give me a like, subscribe, comment and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.